Hey, this is Connor with Congruent X, and today we're going to be talking about dashboards and charts. So we've talked about how to set your system up, get views up and running, get your model app up and running. Now we got to figure out how to actually visualize that data. So there's four components that make up these visualizations. We have views, charts, interactive dashboards, and system dashboards. So I've already gone over how to create views in a different video, so I'll link that in one of these corners. And charts are the actual visualizations, pie charts, column charts, line graphs. Dashboards contain a combination of charts and views. So I'm gonna start with charts because that's typically what makes up a dashboard. So currently we're looking at a view of accounts, and in this case, it's all accounts. If I select the top left button that says show chart, this is what gives me access to all the charts in the system that are built for the account table. Okay, so each table gets its own set of charts and those charts are designed to be used with any view in the system. So for example, I'm on all accounts now, I could change this to active accounts and it would work exactly the same. So now we can visually see what a chart is. Let's figure out how to create them. So first let's just take a look at all the different charts that come out of the box. So if I go to the account table and select the charts tab, I can see there's four different charts that come out of the box. In order to add a chart, I just select the top left button. It says add chart. Now, typically this is something we would add into a solution, but we haven't gone over those yet, so I'm gonna keep it simple. So my goal here is to see all of the accounts by state, and I wanna see that in a pie chart. So first things first, I need to select a view so I can actually kind of preview the data here. I'm gonna select all accounts. I'm gonna select the pie chart. For a pie chart, we're gonna start with the axis labels. So these first few that pop up are just suggested fields. You can access all of the fields if you scroll down below. We're gonna go to address one and state province. And the legend entries, essentially the series of this chart, doesn't really matter for a pie chart. Essentially, you could click anything here. It's just counting the number of rows. And so in our preview here, you can see this is how our chart's gonna look. And from there, all you would do is just hit save. So if we go back to accounts and we don't see that chart as an option, that means it's not been added to the model app. So if we go to our apps, hit edit, we can go to accounts. In my case, I have all the charts selected, but if yours looks something like this, all you have to do is select the chart that we just added, save and publish, and you'll see it in the app. So let's show an example where we're gonna use the series. Let's say we maybe wanna see accounts by revenue. Let's pick a column chart. Let's change the created on to account name. The account name is gonna be our category axis, right? Our X axis. And we want our Y series axis to be annual revenue. And by default, it's gonna go ahead and change the calculation to sum. And now the last thing I'll show you here is how to add a series or add another layer of Y values. So in this case, maybe we wanna see the annual revenue, but then also we wanna know how many employees that company has. Now it's gonna be really tough to see on this small screen, but I'll show you in a second what it looks like. And the one thing I wanna make sure here is that these columns are not stacked, right? Because they're different units. So I'm going to make sure column is select. That way we get separate bar lines for each of these values. All right, so we can get a better view of our chart here. So we have annual revenue on the left, we have number of employees, and then the categories are the names of the companies. What's really cool about showing a chart in a view is they're actually interactive. So if I select this line here, it actually will drill down to this specific account. All right, let's talk about how we're gonna use those charts in our dashboards. We're gonna start with the most basic dashboard, the system dashboard. So in its most basic form, a system dashboard is just a combination of charts and views. There's a couple different layouts to choose from, so let's dive into how to create one. I'm gonna show this from inside a solution just because it's easier. Be on the lookout for a solution video in the future. I don't already have one, do I? No, okay, good. So I'm just gonna go to add new dashboard and let's go with three column overview. And a little tip here, if you want more layout options, go to switch to classic, go to dashboards, select new dashboard, and you'll see a few different layout options here. There's really two icons you need to notice here. 
the first one is insert chart. This is where you're going to select the table. So let's stick with account. Let's select the view we want and we'll select the chart. And to add a view to a dashboard, you'll see insert list. And let's say maybe we want activities this time. And we'll select the view. There's a couple different options you can do for dashboards here, but we're not gonna go over that in this video. And once you're done, just save and close. And just like charts, if you're not seeing your system dashboard here, make sure you go check your model app and make sure it is added. In this dashboard section, you'll have the opportunity to select it. So moving on to the last type of dashboard, the interactive dashboard. There's actually two different ways to do this. You can do this at the system level and you can do this at the table level. If we wanna go to a table-based interactive dashboard, we'll select accounts, we'll select our table, and in the top right, you'll see open dashboards. Now for both types of interactive dashboards, there's two main buttons you need to worry about. There's the show visual filter, and that's going to show or hide your charts that you're using to filter by. And there's the switch to tile view. All that does is kind of smash your views into a card, show you how many records are in there. You can still click them and see the different records inside. Creating these dashboards is very similar to the others. Creating a table-based interactive dashboard is actually a little easier. So if we go to a table, we just navigate to the dashboard section. You'll actually notice an interactive dashboard is the only type of dashboard you can create that is table-based, meaning it's not talking to multiple tables. So if I go to add dashboard, you'll see there's a couple different layout options. And all these mean are how many uh, visual filters you get at the top. You can either have two, three, or four. For example, this one has three. I believe that the varied width just means that your middle visual or chart is gonna take up a little bit more space than the ones on the side. All you do from there is select your layout. So once we select the layout, it'll launch the editor. Again, this is a table-based interactive dashboard. So the entity is already selected for us. We can select the view. So let's configure our filter section here. Essentially, we're just telling it a date range to show records from. And here we add our visual filters, which are just charts. And below we can add multiple streams or views. You can either select down here, pick a view, or you can hit stream up at the top. Again, if you're not seeing this in your model app, just go to the site designer, go to your table and select dashboards and make sure it's selected. Right now we're looking at a interactive dashboard at the system level. The big difference between a interactive dashboard and a regular dashboard is you can actually use these charts to filter the dashboard. So in this chart where we have accounts by industry, if I select this consulting section, I can filter this dashboard where the account industry is consulting. Now the main difference between a system interactive dashboard and a table-based interactive dashboard are the streams. You'll notice I have a view of accounts and I have a view of contacts. You can only include multiple table streams in a system interactive dashboard. Now, one thing to note is none of the filtering is going to apply. You can see in the top right, it says unfiltered. So currently the only way to add a system interactive dashboard is in the classic UI. So I always like to go to solutions and hit switch to classic. For me, that's the fastest way to get there. We'll select our solution, or if you wanna be bad, you can go to the default solution. If we select dashboards, and go to new, we see we have interactive experience dashboard. And you'll see we have a couple different options of layout. We have multi-stream and single stream. Again, that just means view. So if we want multiple views in our dashboard, we can select a multi-stream. If we want just one stream in our dashboard, we can select a single stream. That gives us a little bit more real estate for visuals. Creating these dashboards is exactly the same as the other interactive dashboards, with the exception of two things. Here, you actually select the table that you want the filters to work on. Because again, even though this is system view, we still have to select one table to actually apply filtering to. Let's maybe select the, the contact table this time. Let's select the view and let's select our date field. Let's say they created on his last quarter. This is where we can select our visuals and down here is where we select the streams. 
Right now this dashboard is filtering the contact table, but we can actually show a stream from a different table. So here we can select a different table and select the view. Again, just keep in mind that no filtering is gonna be applied to tables outside the, we'll call the parent table or the kind of controlling table. Just hit save and close and you're done. So this time we're gonna to go to the main dashboard section because this is a system interactive dashboard. And you'll see they actually have their own section here. We have classic dashboards and interactive dashboards. And you would just select your dashboard from here. All right, well, hopefully that was helpful. I know that was a a lot in a little amount of time. If you're a little confused when I was talking about model apps or you're not sure how to create one or get views going, go ahead and check out this video here. If all of that was confusing and the navigation is a little confusing, go ahead and check out my intro to Dataverse video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at congruentx.com. We'll see you in the next one.